guys, hello guys, this is Blacks in Europe TV, you can call me Gloria. No, you can call me Hassan, I forget because today is my wife's birthday, that's why. Uh -huh, happy, we day happy, we day jolly, we day scatter everywhere. Today news, we won't just scatter and short as on our nose, say Blacks in Europe, we day do. We don't just the waste time at all, we know the waste time. Today, one important issue we want to discuss here is about migrants, immigrants, asylum seekers coming from Africa and they want to seek asylum in Italy. What are the first steps and the things you need to do before you will allow to stay in Italy here you understand before you seek the asylum what are the procedure whenever you arrive from the continent which is africa whether where africa uh, east africa asia or whatever anywhere of africa if you just come to abroad and you are watching me listening to me the first thing you need to do is to go to your questura questura you understand the police headquarters you need to go there to request for asilo request the asilo that's how italians they call it request the asilo you need to request that you want to seek asylum from Italians. Now, by seeking this asylum, you know, automatically, uh, um, you know, Italy government will take everything about you. But you need to go to Questura. You don't need to pay any lawyer. You don't need to pay anybody. You don't need any agent before you can request for asylum in Italy. The best thing you can do is just pack your load, pack everything, enter the Questura, book appointment with them. You will go there and they will fingerprint you. The day of your fingerprinting for them to accept, accept you that you have requested asylum in this country my guy it's man busting it's man busting it will just blow your mind you know they will ask you why are you coming why did they come this country what you can they do what they make you run from ghana where you they come what they pursue you from sierra leone where make you come what are your story what you know they will tell you where you gonna run go after making your motherland be a place to live so why are you running from your motherland so you need to tell them a story a good story you know you need to create something where people like say they go no say true true your country in a hair fire your country in a war they there so the moment where you go do everything you go talk your story they will just put stamp so they will give you one paper whether they call the paper chitre which is normally called citre or sesenta giorno why did they call did they give you this sesenta giorno meaning after 60 days you can start any job in italy after 60 days of having that c3 paper so it's really important to have that c3 paper if not you cannot work even though you are in the country if you get a job opportunity they're gonna ask you what where is your c3 that c3 is very important so it's very easy for you to request for this asylum i know you are asking okay after getting the c3 hotness you know that i'm getting the c3 they will give you a six month sojourn which is a slip then you need to wait for almost six months before the territorial commission will call you to interview you that day uh, is my boston is either you're gonna get negative or positive but i pray to you that you're gonna get positive what are the positive the positive you have a chance to get either two years permit, either five years asylo political, or another five years subsidiary protections. So now, after getting this permit, meaning now you are allowed to stay in the country. Some of the paper, like if you get protection especially made by Conte government, meaning you can travel back to your home country, your country of origin. But maybe if God help you and you get a five years international protection, no, 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 no. You can't go back to Africa. You, you can go back to Africa, but not in your country. So the continent you will see there by your country dialect is forbidden. Because if you try it, they will revoke your paper. Now I jump on something. Before, after getting this C3, and they will give you a slip, which is uh, the six-month sojourner. My guy, you don't have the right to travel outside Italy. You have the, the right to travel in the territory of Italy. All the territory of Italy. You go travel, you go work out, you go jolly jolly nobody go stop you oh. nobody go stop you and again if you have this request the asylum or after issuing the six months of journal for you you don't have the right to seek asylum in any other eu country you don't have the right to seek asylum in any other eu country because the moment they fingerprinted you european union they have something called arrow deck arrow deck you understand this arrow deck all, uh, all information about you 
true. They have stolen there. So the moment you go to Germany, France, Denmark, whatever, you want to seek asylum, as they put your hand, your fingerprint, they'll find out that this guy, you have already seek asylum in Italy. So with the law called Dublin, Dublin law, they will return you back to Italy. So that's how it happens. So with your six months, requested the asylum or carte jala which is the yellow sojourn or normally we call it you don't have the right to travel outside italy you remain always here so you will get the permanent permit why because you know you are a temporary this is a temporary paper they have given to they have issued to you so you need to stay here till the territorial commission will commission you and if god help you you get a document then you can move on with your life now after getting your protections which is asylum political subsidiary protections or maybe protection speciale now let's move in if you have a protection speciale or casis um, um or um asylum political or subsidiary protection your mind will be thinking okay let me get italian passport let me be italian citizen how can you be italian citizen yes there is almost uh, uh, four ways that you can pass through this road will guide you for you to uh, obtain an italian citizenship you understand what are the ways now either you will obtain the citizen by birth by marriage by adoption you understand or by resident in the country so for example if you have a two years paper you have a two years paper you need to have a resident up to 10 years resident in Italy uninterruptedly 10 years in the country before you can uh, apply for Italian citizenship you understand and before you can move your protection especially or you can apply for the cittadinanza first of all that particular protection especially or casi speciale you need to convert it to a working permit you understand uh -huh. so without a, a working permit any two year or one year paper you can go to Italian passport or Italian cittadinanza or citizenship. Now let's go to the two five years we are talking about. You know, the two five years, there is a five years called asylum political and also five years subsidiary. If you are a five years asylum uh, political, you need to be resident in Italy for only five years. Then you can submit an application of the cittadinanza. Let's move on. Also, maybe you are married to an Italian man, you are married to a citizen, you can also pass through this process to get an Italian citizenship and also maybe your dad your mom is a citizen through the birth you can also uh, get an Italian citizenship and also maybe you you they adopted you from children's home or whatever you understand orphanage home they can also give you the Italian citizen through adoption so these are the ways you can obtain an Italian citizen. So it's not all that difficult, but one thing you need to know, for example, you are an asylum seeker and you hold uh, asylo political, you hold subsidiary protection, casi speciale, and the rest paper. One thing you need to know, they need an a school certificate, which is B1, B1, you understand? So you need to integrate yourself. The beginning, the day you requested for requester asylum, don't relax at home, don't relax, don't relax. You need to educate yourself a little bit because before giving you the citizen you need to declare you need to let them know that ah okay you you have uh, you know educated yourself well you have integrated a little bit you know a little of their culture you can speak the language well you know a lot of people they will say yeah waiting i won't learn italy do waiting italy go if you do me i beg you are not go learn no my guy you need to learn now you need to learn the language because the language now it will help you for future you understand so and maybe again too they go fifty ask you say ah guy okay you get b uno you get paper you get this you get that but you need to work so you need a yearly income a yearly income which is the code where every year they, they issue for all the workers so you need to have at least three years of code you know understand so you need to have a three-year code then you can apply for this particular italian citizenship but in case maybe you are applying the italian citizenship through marriage you don't need to show any yearly income so that's how it is so today's video i know you are enjoying it because it's man busting everything is cool for you so that's how it is as you arrive in italy please try to request for the request asylo because it's very very important because anytime any day police will stop you and they ask you and you say yeah i'm in italy i haven't fingerprinted yet i haven't thumbprinted printed yet i don't have a request the asylo they can just
catch you, deport you, or do repatriation back to your home country. So guys, that's how it is. May God bless you. This is Hassan. And today we are here once again. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need this type of video, keep on lobbying, 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 lobbying. I'll give you a lot of this type of video. May God bless you. Until next time, adios.